Keystone Cops. What's up guys? I'm back with another video. Um, been having a lot of talk about Emerson Knives. Emerson seemed to be becoming popular again. And there's been a lot of the same conversations coming up about uh, the nylon washers or washer deformation or chisel edge versus chisel grind etc 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 up to and including I've, I've been having a conversation about um, the chisel edge and and there's been some conversation about chisel edge and uh, its effect on performance when cutting through material so I'm just going to kind of run through a couple of things real quick today um, I've got my Mini A100, this knife is pretty much factory edge. I have used it a few times. Yes, that is rust on the edge. No, I don't care. It's just fine. Um, this is my Katana. I got this used. It has been sharpened. Does follow the factory edge pretty closely. I did strop this on um, one micron Ken Schwartz CBN diamond spray on a leather strop. Same thing here. This is my um, Z-Wear SNG. Uh, I did not sharpen this. I did strop it on the uh, strop I just mentioned until it, it kind of came back to a crisp edge. This is my 135 millimeter uh, Petty knife. This is a Japanese knife. The reason I, I chose all these knives are, A, both of these are V-ground. You see there's a bevel on this side there is a bevel on this side meaning the the primary bevel right here and if you look at the edge let's see if i can get you focused here if you look at the edge you can see there is a large secondary bevel on this side the edge itself right here and on this side you can see that there is just a very faint little edge if you can catch that i don't even know if you can catch it <laughs> Same thing on this knife, I'm not gonna run through that. This is your traditionally done uh, V-ground. Let's see if I can get you in some light here. Your traditionally done V-ground blade with an edge on both sides. So this is just a regular everyday average knife. Same here, this is a little bit thinner though. So this is gonna be more or less a, uh, a control. There should be no reason why this bogs down in either material. This is a fairly thinly ground, V-ground knife, double beveled, even beveled knife. Again, traditional, regular, average knife. And of course, I didn't say, but I pulled this out because we all know these striders can't cut. So I'm gonna bring this out as an example of a knife that can't cut and what it does in comparison to these asymmetrical edged Emersons and the uh, more control version of the knife, a very thinly ground uh, V-edge um, uh, sample. So what am I gonna cut today? I'm going to cut paper. This paper here, <clears throat> excuse me, this paper here comes from my notebook. This notebook is probably, God, 10, 15 years old, I, I don't even know. Just regular standard five-star, Mead paper. I chose smaller paper because when I make the cuts, I obviously I'm gonna have to hold it in some kind of fashion and I wanna be able to manipulate the paper easily. I have written the name of each knife on the bottom of each piece of paper so we can keep track of what's what. And over here, I have done the same thing with cardboard. This is all cardboard from the same exact box. All of the pieces of cardboard are labeled. This is uh, like double walled stuff, so it is a little bit thicker than regular cardboard. So again, we'll be able to see uh, what, what these knives do in a substance like thin paper and what they do in a thicker substance like uh, double walled cardboard. Now, let's get back to those washers. Everybody keeps talking about washer deformation. Uh, you know, my, my $30 Kershaw, it has nylon washers. Emerson knives do not have nylon washers. They have nylatron washers, which have had molybdenum, molybdenum disulfide added to the nylon compound. It's a, it's a trademarked compound. And these things lower surface friction, increase surface hardness, 
increased heat resistance. They have higher tensile properties, meaning, again, that deformation everybody's talking about and, and the uh, warping and everything, uh, and improved dimensional stability. So again, same thing. All of these things are meant for industrial use. So we're talking about an industrial material used in a tiny little pocket knife that you're gonna exert human force with. Not machine force, human force. So nylon, nylatron are totally different things. Same thing with Teflon, these are not Teflon. So that let's clear that off the board as well. Um, I think that's about all I want to say about that. Let's go ahead and, and do some cutting. So this here, you see it says Mini A100. I've written at the bottom because you can tell there's some water damage at the bottom of these pages. However, the top is in good shape. So let's see. This is the Mini A100. And what we're, what we're wanting to see is if it's going to make a straight cut or not. So we see the cut that it made. It wobbled a little bit. There, that cut is pretty much straight for what I've seen out of any knife. Let's do one more cut if we can. Again, we've got another cut. So you guys tell me, are those straight or did the knife walk? I'll let you guys be the, the, the deciders of that. Let's pull out the katana and we'll do the same exact thing. Let's cut over here. And you can see, that's the first cut. This is the second cut. And if I don't put a hole in my finger, there's the third cut. So again, I'll let you guys decide, did the blade walk because of the, the edge or is that pretty much a, as straight of a cut as you would expect from any knife? Uh, next up, the SNG representing the non-cutting category. So, let's see. We've got our first cut. We've got our second cut. And we have our third cut. So again, you can look and you can see what we have here. And finally, the petty knife. That is our first cut. That is our second cut. And that is our third cut. So you can see here, the three cuts from the petty knife. Let's move over to the cardboard. So, all right, this is gonna be a little bit too tall, but anyway, this is gonna be our mini A100 piece. Here is our mini A100. I am gonna cut up here a little bit out of frame. Forgive me for that. You see, I'm not making any cuts, so <laughs> believe me, it, it's all one take. It's all the, the actual knife that I'm talking about. And I'm cutting down with the grain of the cardboard. So again, if it was gonna walk, it this is the least resistant, so it's gonna have the biggest chance to, to turn side to side. So one cut. Two cuts. And three cuts. So you can see those are our three cuts from our Mini A100. Let's do three cuts with the Katana. And I am gonna flip this one over because the uh, handle is right here. Well, I tell you what, I'm not gonna flip it over. I'm, I'm just gonna cut on either side of it because I, I don't wanna throw anything in this, this demonstration. So let's make the first cut. So there's cut number one. Here's cut number two. And here's cut number three. So you can see there, this is the knife. Again, all one take. No punches pulled here. 
Same thing, this is the S and G, the handle is here. So if I run out of space over here, I'm gonna switch over here, that over to the other side, that's why. So cut number one, cut number two, cut number three. So you can see those are the three cuts. This is the knife. Again, the three cuts. Let's line everything up. And finally, our petty knife. Again, it's a little bit tall, petty knife. There's cut number one. There's cut number two. And there is cut number three. So you can see there. Let's let's compare real quick, just real, real quick for the sake of what this whole video was about. This is the control, per se, you know, the, the thinly ground, the thinly ground, V ground knife, um, petty, compared to the SNG. So I'll let you guys make your own call on these things. Petty. S and G. Uh, Katana, Petty. And finally, Mini A100 versus the Petty. You can compare the cuts there. So that's the cardboard and let's look at the the other paper real quick. So this is our mini A100 and I'm holding it upside down so the um, the cuts you can see, see how they look. So let's compare it again to our control. So Petty, this is the mini A100. This is the S and G, this is the Petty. And this is the Katana and this is the uh, Petty. So again, I'll let you guys be the judge. Uh, just wanted to do that because there's been a lot of uh, talk about some of the different things and I just, I, I did not pull out my chisel ground knife. But again, these knives that have dual bevels, they are not, this is not a chisel ground knife. This is a knife with a chisel edge as Emerson calls them or an asymmetrical edge as is, it's more commonly called. Um, it's no different than this knife here. It has a bevel on both sides, a primary bevel on both sides, primary grind, but on the edge, this has a secondary bevel on both sides, these do not. That's the only difference. Uh, even if you don't like the fact that there is only a bevel on one side, you can always turn it over, sharpen the other side, and you've got a traditionally sharpened knife. I uh, think I've covered everything in the video that I wanted to cover. You guys let me know, uh, are things like this helpful? Uh, to Because what I see is we get a lot of myths and urban legends going in the community and they just go on and on and on and on and on for years and years and years. It's kind of like the, you know, the uh, Emerson knives. You can't, you can't do anything with them, they suck. I mean, I, I don't know, you know, I, I know that, yes, 10, 15, 20 years ago, yes, absolutely, there were pretty significant fit and finish issues, but um, this one does not drop close. But again, flicks right open, detent solid, blade is centered. Um, so yeah, that, that is, it is what it is, guys. Tell me what you think. Remember, a lazy man carries a dull knife and don't be a dumb person with a smartphone.